In a day like any other, a lovely family decided to get out for a while and spend some time in the garden. As they were in the open, they noticed a small blue scurrying creature just a few feet away from where they were. Baffled and full of curiosity, one of the members of such family approached the creature, only to realize it was a live animal. After the discovery, the family decided to call the RSPCA, a British nonprofit organization that fights for the well being of the animals. Soon enough, a group of rescuers showed up and determined the blue ball moving in the garden was a small hedgehog that somehow got completely covered in blue paint. Clara Scully, an animal collection officer working with the RSPCA, secured the hedgehog and took it to the West Hatch Wildlife Center for treatment. It wasn't known for how long the small animal had been covered in blue paint, so it was of extreme importance to treat her fast to prevent her skin from being irritated. Sadly, after checking on the hedgehog, vets determined the paint had been covering her for a while, and so not only her spines were blue, but also some portions of her body. Clearly, this was a big problem that needed a fast solution. So without any hesitation, members of the RSPCA began working to remove all the blue paint from the small creature's skin. Now a job like this needed a lot of attention, especially because it's known that hedgehogs have about 5,000 spines and removing the paint from each one of them wasn't going to be an easy task. In fact, according to Dr. Bell Deering, center manager at the RSPCA West Hatch Wildlife Center, the blue paint was very rubbery and hard to remove, so much so that the shelter staff had to anesthetize the animal to prevent her from feeling any kind of pain. Completing this job took some time, but eventually the task was accomplished and most of the paint was removed and the hedgehog seemed to look better. However, since the substance was impregnated in the animal's body for a while, some portions of her skin remained to be blue. Staff members of the RSPCA were so touched by the story of the animal that they decided to name her Sonic, after the character from the 1991 video game. Currently, Sonic continues to be in the RSPCA facilities, where employees make sure that she's well taken care of. However, as soon as she recovers, staff members will send her back to the wildness.